How beautiful is this? It looks like it should be on the back of a $100 bill, but it's a school. You've probably driven by East High School in Denver and you thought, man, that is a gorgeous school. Well, according to Architectural Digest, it is the most beautiful school in Colorado, and we have a lot of pretty ones. I'm taking you inside this one. East High School is Denver's oldest high school, and as you can see, it's incredible. Principal John Youngquist grew up in Denver, and he's excited Architectural Digest is acknowledging what he feels. East High is the most beautiful public high school in Colorado. We consider it beautiful. We consider this a place where students are honored to be able to come. Staff are honored to be able to work. I'm honored to be the principal because of the legacy that's been here over time. Architectural Digest looked at hundreds of public high schools all across the country and selected ones that were architecturally significant. Nationally renowned architect George H. Williamson graduated from the old East High and designed the newer building, which opened in 1924. When Williamson first designed East High School, he got national recognition for it, mostly for that 162 foot clock tower built to resemble Independence Hall. The clock tower is home to the school's museum, showcasing historic school uniforms and trophies and notable alum like Hattie McDaniel, the first African-American to win an Oscar. In my behind the scenes tour on my Facebook page, I met East head boy and head girl Luke Sawyer and Jalen Tarode. Like a couple weeks ago on our video announcements, we had some people from the ward come back and talk about their experience at East. And that was really beautiful to hear like how things around the school haven't really changed since then. Walking in every day, you just like, I feel like some kids don't enjoy walking into school, but every morning I get to look up at this beautiful campus and I'm actually like excited to walk in here. Like with any old building, Principal Youngquist says it does come with upkeep, calling for renovations like here in the old library. But he says the bones of the building are solid. And didn't you love Luke's, Luke's outfit? It's for ugly sweater day. But I thought it looked great. I love that jacket. School leaders, they want to make sure students know all about the school's history. So all ninth graders, they study books, including this one called Flights of Angels. That's their mascot at the school. This is all to ensure that the students, they know about the school's history and the legacy so they can keep those traditions alive.